It is said that Odin Allfather worries about the return of his ravens Munin and Hugin. While the first raven Munin, in the shape of Swedish astronaut Marcus Vance's 21-day mission to the ISS, has already returned to Earth, the second raven Hugin is ready to come back as well and whisper in humankind's ear of the marvels it has seen on its journey with ESA astronaut Andreas Morgensen. The Danish astronaut Andreas was the first non-US astronaut to pilot SpaceX Crew Dragon when he and Crew 7 launched on the 26th of August 2023 from Kennedy Space Center to the International Space Station for his first long-duration mission. By the end of his mission, Andreas will have been in space for a little over six months. And welcome to the ISS, and it is an honor to have Crew 7 with us. Congratulations to the NASA and SpaceX teams Amazing job once again. It's been an interesting stay during which Andres has participated in more than 30 European experiments as well as international science. These experiments range from water filtration using membranes that mimic nature and understanding the immune system's changes on prolonged missions to space. A particular experiment Andres performed took place in his personal crew quarters and involved the installation of a circadian light panel. The idea is that a light panel like this can help regulate our day-night cycle, our circadian rhythm on board the International Space Station, which will make us sleep better. And through the better sleep, it'll make us more energetic during the day. It'll increase our cognitive abilities, our abilities to concentrate, our reaction times will improve. In general, our mental state will be vastly improved through better sleep cycles and through a better overall circadian rhythm. A lot of Andres' free time on the ISS was spent in the cupola where he made astonishing pictures of the Earth which he shared with the world. And for the Thor Davis experiment he used a special camera to capture the lightning from space. After one month on board of the station, he was handed command of the ISS. He is the sixth European and the first Dane to take up this mantle, and he is now the longest serving European commander. As commander, Andreas also got to greet the arrival of the Axiom 3 mission and crew, including ESA's first project astronaut and fellow Scandinavian, Marcus Bant. With the arrival of Marcus, whose mission was called Munin, Odin's two ravens were reunited in space with the first ever meeting of two Scandinavians in orbit. Andreas also made many in-flight calls, including one to the Wild Nature Foundation, of which he is an ambassador, and another to Isra Denmark, during which he engaged with students and teachers from Finland, Denmark, Norway and Sweden. I look forward to working with this later on in my uh, flight when uh, children will have a chance to write code that will be uh, performed by this astrobit on the International Space Station. He also spoke with physics and chemistry Nobel Prize laureates, Ferenc Krauss and Mungi Bawendi, the day after they received their Nobel Prize. Uh, it is true, I, uh, I brought with me uh, the Nobel wow. medal that Nils Spohr. <laughs> wow, wow, truly impressive. After a fulfilling journey of 127 million kilometers, Hugin is now ready to return to Earth as Andreas' Dragon capsule is scheduled to splash down soon off the coast of Florida, concluding his second visit to the ISS.